Now, a vigil will be held on Thursday in Abuja to mark 500 days since a group of girls were taken from a school in Nigeria by Boko Haram. An international campaign attracted attention worldwide to their plight, but most girls are still missing, as Fidelis Mba reports. This is a school where 276 girls were abducted in April last year. The attack by Boko Haram also destroyed the school dormitory. Today, still very little is known about the location of the missing school girls. Some of the girls escaped. Some have reportedly been married off to Boko Haram militants. We are hearing the, the gun so that we, f we come out and we sit in the in, in outside so that we are sitting and, and the, all the stuff they are run and they leave us in the school. Millions of people around the world have showed their support for the Bring Back Our Girls campaign. The hashtag has been shared over 5 million times on social media. According to President Muhammad Buhari, the rescue of the missing girls remains a priority. As long as the girls are alive, he will do the level best to get them back home and reunited with their family. Various countries and international groups have pledged their support in rescue of the girls. So far, that hasn't been enough. Fidelis Mba, TRT World. And Fidelis Mba joins me now on the set. He's met some of the families as well as the girls who escaped from Boko Haram. Fidelis, thanks for coming in. Now, some analysts who know Boko Haram have said these girls are actually gone forever. They've either been sold on to the global sex trade or have disappeared in the Boko Haram fabric. What do you think? Um, well, the thing is, the families are hopeful that these girls will one day come back home, but mm. that is actually, you know, more unlikely because they've been away for several months. And even the video released by Boko Haram some months ago only showed about half the number of girls who were missing because there are 219 girls who are still missing. And mm. as of now, some of them might have made babies already because they've been turned to sex slaves and some, you know, like, you know, reported earlier, had been married off. And it is actually difficult to pin a particular location where these girls are. Some, there were reports earlier that some were cited in Chad, some were taken to Central Africa Republic, some were in Cameroon, and some were in Nigeria. So even at that, it's really difficult. And because of the military operation that is going on at that, you know, look, area, it might be really difficult to get, even if at all they're going to rescue these girls. But getting all of them back home might be pretty difficult. So how optimistic are you that Mohamedou Buhari can do what he said, not just regarding the girls, but having his regime wage an effective war against Boko Haram? Well, as a former military leader, he, you know, he knows it, all the techniques needed in, in terms of waging war against terrorism. But again, you're looking at it, this is actually not just a problem that is associated with Nigeria. Cameroon is battling with it. Chad is battling with it, and Niger, which are all you know, countries neighboring Nigeria. It's quite a big battle for all these countries. And uh, Buhari might just make an attempt, but without the cooperation of the other countries, it might be pretty, very, very difficult for him to overcome Boko Haram. Okay, Fidelis Mba, thanks so much.